guys, I'm Molly and welcome to Move Well with Molly. Today I'm here with my sister. Hey everybody, I'm Delaney and today we are testing the recipes for protein balls or energy balls. So I found this recipe on wellplated.com. She says they're sweet, no bake treats. They take minutes to throw together. They're filled with good for you ingredients and they're perfect for a quick, portable breakfast or snack. So there are tons of varieties you can make of these balls depending on what you use as your add-in ingredients. We're going to show you the base recipe and then we're going to try out chocolate chip balls and white chocolate craisin balls. And I will say you shouldn't be popping like five of these at a time as they do have protein and they have good for you things inside them but they also have sweets and fattening ingredients as well. So it's kind of just a grab one and go for a snack if you want a quick energy boost. So let's go try these out. Let's get started. First, let's go over your options for the base ingredients. This makes for one batch. So half a cup of nut butter, two tablespoons of your power mix-ins, one third cup sticky liquid, one and a quarter cup of oats, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Get your measuring cups and then you will need one mixing bowl for each batch that you want to make. Put all of your base ingredients into your mixing bowl and feel free to add a little sprinkle of salt if you'd like. Okay, so update. We did in fact mess up a bit. We were going to use agave nectar as our sticky, but there wasn't even enough for our first batch, so then we added some syrup. You're supposed to use maple syrup, but this is all we have, so we are making it work. We're going to see how it turns out, but just got to be smart. Try your best to make good substitutions. That's what we're trying. Now we get into our mix-in. So you're going to use a half a cup of whichever you choose. Here we're using a half cup of chocolate chips. Once you put those in, mix everything together. And if you need, add more nut butter, sticky liquid, or even some water if you need it to be more wet. If it's too wet, of course, you can add in more oats. You wanna make it so that it can kind of get a sticky dough substance. Then you're gonna put it in the fridge to set for 30 minutes, take it out, and then mash into your balls. You can make them whichever size you would like. We did some small, some big. For our other batch, we did quarter cup dried cranberries and a quarter cup white chocolate chips as our mix-in. We used the same base batch, same ingredients, except we used all syrup this time. Then we added in the chips and cranberries and mixed it all up. Make sure it's the consistency you want and then refrigerate that for 30 minutes. Take it out and then mash those balls. Roll them up, get messy, and make them whichever size you'd like. And that is the recipe. Here's our finished product. They turned out well. Feel free to try out something new with add-in ingredients. Think about what you like, what could be good in these, and just play around. Try it out. And you should store them in a container in either the fridge or the freezer. Alright, so we have made it despite a few ingredient complications. We did make our two batches. We're going to do a little taste test right now. So I'm going to be trying the white chocolate cranberry balls. And I'm trying the chocolate chip ones. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. Do you actually like it? Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. Like, I'm not even joking. That's so good. It's really sweet, which makes sense because we put syrup in it, but it's there's also a lot of good things in it. So I will definitely be using this as a quick snack of the day. This, I it's really good because I can really taste the chocolate, and that's my favorite part. Yeah, and she doesn't even like peanut butter, and we use almond butter, and it's kind of mashed by everything else. You just and I don't like oats, but I like chocolate. Yeah, so... Big thumbs up from both of us. We definitely recommend. It was super easy. It's 10 minute prep time. It's in the fridge for 30 minutes and then five more minutes of work and you're done. 
then the recipe said they can last two weeks in the fridge or three months in the freezer so thanks for watching remember to subscribe to my channel and give the thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye, bye. any update they're really good like really good <laughs> sometimes i lie and say they're really good but they actually are really oh my good. gosh child approved <laughs>